All right, guys, today I want to show you how to set up a professional email using your hosting company. I use Bluehost. It's who I would recommend. It. I was recommended them uh, five years ago, never turned back. Great company. Um, I'll provide a link to them before if you want to use an affiliate link to go and get a, uh, there's a special with them you can get. Uh, so what you do, this is your home page. Once you already have it, this is assuming you have a Bluehost account, you're on the home page. You need to go to down here on email. So email manager is what I'm going to click. Uh, and I, you can see here, I have a number of emails set up. Look at me scrolling down there. All these emails are that I have actually set up so people can email these. Um, and to me, this is enough of a reason to have uh, to pay for hosting. Even if you don't plan to have uh, professional websites or number of websites. Let me give you an example. You could buy a domain like your name. So your name's Jason Smith. You could buy a domain jasonsmith.com and set up emails, you know, info at or, um, uh, you know, hello at jasonsmith.com, whatever. You don't even have to have a website. You could actually forward that domain, jasonsmith.com, to like your Facebook page. Um, or you could set up a simple website. But to me, this is enough of a reason to set up an email account. All right, so let me get on it. So create an email account. So what I'm gonna do is I need to choose the domain that I want. I just set up this one recently. We're uh, creating a t-shirt company or with positive messages at so bepositivewith.us. I wanna set up, I already had the idea, please, please at bepositivewithus. Um, now you've got to enter in a password for this. Okay. It wants you to type in a secure one, obviously. Just follow their uh, instructions down here. You can even generate a password, so it's uh, pretty strong. Now, they give you a choice here. Mailbox storage. I have no idea why I'd want to limit it, since they give me the option to have unlimited. So just click unlimited. Now I want to create this. Um, create this. Uh, default mail, that's not a big deal. These are, I forget what the default one I use. Maybe squirrel mail, squirrel mail. But you can choose that later. You don't even have to do it now. So create your email and officially I have the email uh, don't want to remember that for now so officially here's the email so someone could send me an email I could log into webmail um, back on cPanel I can log back into um, the email service webmail if I want to if I want to send myself a sample email check webmail I can log in there with the username and password that I just set up and I could check that mail now I use Gmail for everything even my professional emails and I'm gonna show you in the next video uh, how to do that so uh, like the video, love for you to comment if you have additional questions, subscribe, um, and, and hit the bell, get notifications from us. And I look forward to showing you guys more stuff and how I do this. I'll show you the next video.